All right guys, it's Hink here, back like I never left. And so today, based on the YouTube poll results, which I'll feature here, we are going to talk about basically a beginner routine. So not only a beginner routine, a device-free beginner routine, and I'm gonna to try to cover both length and girth device-free in five minutes each. I have a timer going, hopefully we can keep myself honest, but stay tuned and let's get into it. All right, guys, so like Bane in The Dark Knight, I want to give the power to the people. Um, you know, I don't know if that maybe that's an old movie now, but you know, whatever. And so the goal is based on the audience request to do this in five minutes and less in each topic. I, I will tell you full disclosure that I do think devices are superior in some regards, especially when we're talking about girth. But regardless, we're going to talk about device free. So let's get into it. Okay, so start the timer now okay so first for length okay guys we're gonna be talking about manual stretches if you have not seen my video on manual stretches you need to go check it out okay I'll put the link below I'll put a little snapshot up here but basically what we're looking at doing is a total of 30 minutes what I would say is to maybe the first when you're first starting out just 30 minutes once a day as you increase you can go up to 30 minutes twice a day ideally about at least four to six hours apart I would do this routine five to six days on and one to two days off, okay? The important thing with length work is that it not only can obviously give you length, but I think it can also condition the tunica, okay? And so how to do it. So once again, if you haven't seen my video on manual stretches, check it out because I do go into much more depth, okay? But the long story short is that you want to basically grip, pull, and hold, okay? And so Last time I got demonetized with this, so, you know, whatever. It's not about just monetization or not. And so, whatever, I'll use my little drawstring advice again, okay? And so, you're basically going to grip, you're going to right below your glands, and you're going to basically pull, you know, maybe do some warm-up lightly, but you're basically going to pull in a straight-down position, okay? You make an okay grip, you grip, let's say, if the, hand, if the glands is right here, you're going to be gripping about a centimeter, you know, more proximal to you, and just pull straight down in the okay grip and press and hold. You're going to do so until your arm gets tired, uh, okay, and then you can switch it out, okay? And so you're just pulling down like that, and you can switch back. And so and when your hand gets tired, switch back on the other side, okay? And you're basically just gonna do that over and over again until you reach that 30 minute tire that 30 minute timer, okay? The other video goes into much better detail. I strongly recommend you check that out. So there's a few key things. Do not grip the, the, the head of your penis, the actual glands of your penis. You will cause nerve damage. So grip you know, just closer to your actual body to, on your shaft, not the actual glands. Do a static stretch. So you're never going to pull and move at the same time like the infamous S2S stretch. You can do it one-handed or two-handed. Honestly, I think if you're a beginner, the best thing to do is just a one-handed stretch where you Make an okay grip just below your hand, your glands, and you pull straight down, okay? You wanna start with very low pressure. Guys have injured themselves. I'm literally coaching guys right now that go in there and they just yank down and they cause themselves hard flaccid and nerve damage. So start with a very low pressure and increase as you can tolerate it, okay? And once again, start with just the straight down position before you start going to the side and you know between the cheeks or anything like that. This is just a beginner's routine. You will get gains from just pulling straight down. I recommend that you actually do it in the, you know, Captain Morgan stretch where, you know, you put your foot up here and you're pulling down like that because you get a little bit of a fulcrum right there. Or you can do it literally sitting down where you're, you know, you're seated in this position and you're just pulling down like that, okay? And so I would recommend you do it in a hot room or after a shower because it helps to loosen up the connective tissue, get the blood flow, keep it healthy. If you need to, baby powder or cornstarch on your hand to help you increase your grip. Hand strength will have to develop over time, guys. It is hard to like grip and to pull down. You know, it takes some like, you can actually develop some forearms that way, okay? Um, and just pull until you, you tell your hands are tired and switch hands, okay? So I know that that was well below five minutes for that. So now we're gonna move on to girth work, okay? 
And so girth, it, to me, is all about over expansion, okay? I also think that it is more dangerous than your typical length work. And so I, I call these manual holds. I don't know what the official term is. I'm not that well versed in like the, you know, we're not going to waste time with that. And so part of this is what I originally read from M9 on his wiki. And then, um, of course, part of this is what I learned from BD and especially like the demonstrations that he has available on getting bigger. And so if this doesn't clear it up, go to there and say, so first thing you need to do is basically, you know, get in a comfortable position, a chair, whatever it may be. Okay. You're going to need stimulation. I really don't like pornography. The more I learn about this, the more I, damaging I think that it is, but you do need some stimulation because you do need to, to get hard, you know, fact of the matter, that's what it is. Okay. Use like, um, you know, Gone Wild Audio on Reddit or, you know, an audio erotic book or, you know, personally, I use just home videos with me and my significant other, okay? Sometimes just my imagination. So you need to get pretty hard, okay? About maybe a 90% hard. And so we're going to use this container for demonstration purchases. And so this is Rejuvenator. Use the code HINK10 for 10%. I'm just kidding, guys. And so what you do is you, so you get like 90% hard and you literally take your hand and make an okay grip at the base and you just basically squeeze with your hand. And you should feel pressure. There should be some tightness in your D. You should probably see the glands start to turn a little bit shiny. And you can even see the shaft start to turn a little bit like a darker purple, if you will. Okay. And so uh, you want to hold basically as long as you can up to about five minutes. And then you want to release your grip. Um, I would recommend you kind of like massage it a little bit, you know, get the blood flow back in it. And then you probably will need to do some sort of self-stimulation, switch hands. So you have your, you know, at least mostly erect D, you grab at the base around there and you hold. Okay. And then the same thing, you should feel the pressure build along the shaft and you should see those things we changed to see those changes we talked about. So set a timer and try to do five minute interval holds for a total time under pressure of about 30 minutes. Okay. You want to take a two to three minute break between the sets and you want to do this, you know, I would say no more than once a day, especially if you're starting off, I would probably say every other day. So no more than about four times in a week. So there's a couple of key things that we have to talk about. So number one, do not kegel while you have that firm grip in place. That is how I damaged myself doing actual like manual clamps um, is because I was kegling with that uh, thing in place and it caused me to have pelvic floor dysfunction. You probably will need to kegel to get more blood flow in. What you need to do is you will literally, so let's say this is the underside of your D right there. You will literally be able to feel the blood as you kegel, like move up. And if you have your hands clamped there, it'll, you can feel it hit that obstruction. You just loosen your fingers, let the like the Kegel blood go past and then you resume your clamp and you might need to do that a couple of times Kegel to get that blood flow up. You just want to make sure it's never under that clamped pressure. Okay. For best results, you do want to use some sort of blood flow maximizer, okay? A citrulline-based supplement. I would say somewhere between three to five grams as you can tolerate. Guys, of course, I'm going to plug Vigor. That's literally part of how I designed this formula was for use in PE specifically. It is in stock, but once again, I'm not gonna sit here and act like it's the only thing on the market. There's other good citrulline-based products. I just think that's the best, whatever. Do, do whatever works for you, okay? Your hands are going to get tired. You're gonna to need to switch up your grip strength and you're gonna to have to switch hands and then gradually increase your grip strength, okay? I do think devices are actually more efficient for girth work, either a plump pump or even like, um, you know, we'll talk about like rings and how to, what we call soft clamp. I do a modified version of this with a ring and using my hand at the base. But you wanna start slow and work your way up, guys. I do think this is more gra more dangerous. So start slow, work your way up, and you can gradually increase pressure and eventually you might even be able to get to where, you know, you're clamping with this hand at the base right here and then you add your other hand over top and you use your two hands together and really are able to increase the pressure that way by using the two hands but that's a more advanced technique okay bd has good demonstrations of this on the table of contents in getting bigger don't jelk okay this is once again a a static pressure a static tension, if you will, where you're not moving your hand up and increasing that tension, you apply the pressure and hold it. We're going to stop the timer there. So I know, especially with edits, that's well below 10 minutes total. And so when should you actually look for results? So I would say probably about 12 weeks before you start to see results. The first thing you're going to notice is it increased in your stretched flaccid length. So before you start anything, I recommend you actually measure that so you could see that, okay, my stretch flaccid was five inches and now my stretch flaccid is 5.3 inches. This is working, okay? You can 
see some actual EQ improvements from doing the girth work, probably within about eight weeks. BD actually has a good video on angiogenesis and arteriogenesis, and you know, I actually sent him the paper on that, but he already knew the techniques. I mean, he's just the semantics of the name, but anyways, I digress. And he actually explained, you know, the difference between the two and how they can help with erection quality. Okay. Once again, guys, a good blood flow supplement is important for both length work and girth work. It's going to keep your tissue healthy. It's going to minimize your chance of injury, and it's going to help you recover a lot faster. And especially with your girth work, the more blood flow, the more distended and engorged your penis is, the more girth that you're going to obtain. I don't care. I mean, obviously, I'd love for you to use a vigor. I would love to support, but you don't have to support us. You can get a good citrulline-based product on Amazon or whatever it is for you, okay? I already talked about I do think some devices are better. Like, for girth work, it's a good pump with a good gauge. I am going to have a video coming out on basically, like, beginner routine with devices and what I would recommend. The last thing I'll say is I would try to avoid masturbation after you do, um, especially something like your girth work or any even your length work. It's going to be hard when you're using, like, stimulation, especially for girth work, but that does cause additional trauma okay and so guys hopefully this cleared this up in a semi time efficient manner stay tuned for my soft clamping video where i think that is better than just actual manual clamps i'll be making that the next couple of weeks guys virility is available i'm currently using right this right now probably to my significant others <laughs> dissatisfaction just because this stuff increases your volume guys it will at least double your volume and especially if you do something like you stay hydrated and you edge and then like if you go to release like your load's going to be at least twice as big guys so check it out for yourself if you're interested it's available leviathansubs.com do your own research form your own conclusions i'll catch you guys in the next one peace and love